here with Mr. Peter Gaymans, one of the analysts on ESPN. He's a great, this is, this guy's guy here is a very, very great guy in baseball. He's like a library in baseball. We have to do everything possible to get him with the African Baseball Network. Hi, Mr. Peter. Welcome to the African Baseball Network. Oh, thank you very much. I'd love to come over. I hope that, uh, I hope it keeps growing and, uh, you know, I, and I hope that the United States in the next eight years develops, you know, gets out of its shell and starts developing some some recognition of the rest of the world and, uh, and, and baseball gets spread there. Hey, Peter, of all, of all of your years of analysis, of baseball analysis, what is your perspective on baseball in Africa and baseball going global? Well, I mean, it's just a matter of getting people playing. I mean, and, and the potential is so great. I mean, 50 years ago, people weren't playing in the Dominican Republic or Venezuela. Now, you know, they're two of the great uh, countries you've got the it, it's really grown in China and it's it's just a matter of getting people out there and and uh, you know just starting to play and having Major League Baseball help out hey Peter I, I definitely appreciate your uh, your take and I know your take on baseball is a great one uh, everybody knows it you know that you've been in baseball in great numbers of years uh, so far what do you think of the baseball world classic I mean what do you what what is your perspective on the, some of the countries that you seen for example look at Japan wasn't that surprising to see Japan win, win the, the World Baseball Classic? Well, they have a lot of really good players, and they, they played really well in that tournament. But I think what was fun was watching all the different cultures, the way the Koreans feel, the way the Japanese play, the way the Cubans play. Everyone, almost every country has a little bit different culture, and that's what makes it a lot of fun. It's great. It's great. It's great analogy about that, Peter. But most importantly, Peter, I, I want. I definitely want to take half your take on baseball in Africa. I know a lot has been said. You know, uh, baseball first of all being out of the Olympics, and then you know the story scandal. I'm not even going to start the scandal. You know that's been going on in Major League Baseball, because I know it's a whole book on itself. But specifically in Africa, what is your perspective ever since that you've been doing analysis? What have you seen? What, what have you been hearing about people trying to get that game to be developed out in Africa? Well, I, I think that it's one of those, it's, it's so new and it's so different that it takes time. It takes 10 or 15 years to really get it spread. But I think there's no question it can happen. And, um, you know, it, South Africa, is, it's started to really grow, but it can grow other places too. Well, I have a very good friend who uh, taught in a prep school in Kenya for, for several years, and, and he used to try to get people playing baseball, but you know, there wasn't that much interest. Once people start to see it, you know, I think it'll grow. I really believe that. And also people know about how much money you can make in it. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, Peter, you know, we're trying to get there. You, but at, at this point in Africa, all they're trying to do is they're trying to get equipment. They're trying to get baseball equipment. Uh, they're trying to get coaches to go there. They're trying to get some developmental perspective going on on there. You know, that's the basic that they need right now. You know, so right now we, we need guys like you out there, obviously, to say something, you know, about baseball here in Africa. You know, all we hear is Asia. Latin America, but Africa is never included, you know. I hope that, you know, Africa could be part of the discussion, you know, from now on, you know, when we talk about baseball. You know, uh, let me ask you, you've been to Africa before? No, I haven't. You haven't? So I would love to go. <laughs> all right, so would you look on the camera out there and say hello to all those guys in Africa, and hopefully they will see you there soon? Hello to all my friends in Africa, and I hope I'm there. I'm, uh, as I say, one of my best friends, uh, spent a lot of, many years living in Kenya, and I actually am kind of hoping to go with him this winter, so I hope to be there. Thank you, Peter, I appreciate your time.